our last video, we discussed some best practices for reading and using property management software reviews when making your decision. In this video, we're going to put those tips into practice to take a look at the reviews of some of the top property management software options. Let's start by taking a look at platform diversity. Remember, platform diversity takes into consideration whether the reviews are consistent and posted on trusted platforms. Some of the trusted platforms we recommend are G2, Captera, and Trustpilot. If you want to know why we trust these review sites, check out that previous video. These three review sites give us a good variety of trustworthy perspectives. We also want to take a look at the reviews to see their consistency level within these platforms themselves. The next thing we'll consider is quality. How does the overall review score of a particular software compare to the industry average? Here we can see the average is around 4.3. This is not necessarily the industry average, but it's around the average for the selection of software options. You of course want the best software, which means you should target software that consistently ranks above that 4.3 average mark. This will help narrow down our pool considerably. And it brings us to our last thing to look at, quantity and recency. How many reviews and how recently were they posted? Quantity isn't everything, so we don't want to simply go with the software that has the most reviews, but just like our quality score, we should look for a baseline. And also like quality, you want to consider the rest of the market. Appfolio and Buildium, for example, have far more reviews than anyone else. This is great and certainly makes those review scores highly trustworthy. But they've also been around for more than a decade longer than most everyone else. Looking over the rest of the market, we feel that any software with 30 plus reviews on a particular review platform provides a pretty trustworthy score. You should also have a bias towards newer reviews. The more recent the review, generally the more trustworthy it should be as it takes into account the latest behavior of the company and the latest features of the software. Finally, look for consistent reviews over time. We don't want to see 100 reviews posted within one week. That seems a bit fishy. We want to see 100 reviews posted over the course of months at a time. Reading reviews can take time, but it affords you the opportunity to leverage the knowledge of the crowd. Learn from those that came before you and share their insight. And remember, reviews are just one piece of a large puzzle. Be sure to augment the knowledge you gain from reviews with the research that you've done into the software itself. For one real estate business, Inago may be a perfect match, while for others, it may not quite fit their needs. Reviews tell an excellent story, but they're only part of it. Thanks for watching and happy renting.